Assalamu alaikum friends today in this important video lecture i'm gonna talk about types of shallow foundation and their uses because many civil engineering students are asking about this topic that sir what are the types of shallow foundation and their uses in building construction so this is very important topic for today so let's start if the video is helpful for you so like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates let's start so the different types of shallow foundations are the first one is step footing and types of shallow foundation the first one is step footing the second one is spread or isolated footing the third one is combined footing strip or cantilever footing and the fourth one is mid or raft foundation mid or raft foundation so here the first one is what is strip footing right so you can see here this is the diagram of uh, strip footing okay this is plan and this is elevation you can see this is elevation and this is plan okay so here you can see in strip footing so what is strip footing a strip footing is provided for a load bearing walls it's provided for load bearing walls a strip footing is also provided for a row of columns for a row of columns we can provide or we are able to make strip footing for row of columns which are so closely spaced that their spread footing overlap are nearly right if the columns are uh, near with each other so we should provide the strip footing okay touch uh, strip footing overlap or nearly touch each other okay in such a case is it more economical it is more economical to provide a strip footing than to provide a number of spread footing in one line okay a strip footing is also known as continuous footing it's also called continuous footing because it is in the row okay specially designed for load bearing wall so this is the first type of shallow foundation okay and their uses i have also, also discussed provide for load bearing okay and it's also called continuous footing now here the second one is you can see the second one is spread or isolated footing or it's also called individual footing because it's individual for each column you can see this is plan this is footing and this is column you can see in elevation this is footing and this is column now where we can use isolated footing or spread footing or individual footing okay these three are one spread footing you can also call isolated you can also call individual you can also call okay this is the same thing a spread footing is also called isolated footing and pad footing and individual footing okay it's provide to support individual column okay we provide it for individual column a spread footing is circular square or rectangular slab of the uniform thickness you can see this is we can design for circular square or for rectangular and this is slab uniformly thickness okay this is the second you can see the diagram here here now you can see the third one which is called combined footing a combined footing supported two columns you can see here in this diagram so two columns this is plan and this is elevation one column this is second column this is footing okay this is elevation a combined footing support two columns it is used when the two columns are so close to each other and there is individual footing would overlap you can see when two columns are near with each other are closely with each other so then we will provide combined footing a combined footing is also provided when the properly line is so close to one column right a combined footing may be rectangular or trapezoidal in plane you can see okay this is the third one now here you can see the fourth one strip or cantilever footing okay so what is strip or cantilever footing okay it's also called cantilever footing a strip or cantilever footing consists of two isolated footing footings connected with a structural trips or a lever you can see this is same like strip the first one okay but these are connect with each other with a strip or lever you can see two columns this is elevation this is plan and strip connects 
to two footings such as that they be have a one unit okay so this is one unit because with this reason okay with this strip it's called strip or cantilever footing okay for two columns and strip footing is more economical than a combined footing okay so if you if you make or if you design cantilever footing or strip footing so it's more economical than combined footing okay these are diagrams so it's very helpful for you to understand okay now here you can see the last one and many students they know about mat or raft foundation and i have already discussed in more videos about raft and mat footing so here a mat or raft foundation is a large slab supporting a number of columns and walls under entire structure or large parts of structure you can see this is a slab rcc slab okay and it's supporting the number of column more numbers of column you can see here in this diagram so columns 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 you can also see the beams here okay and type the structure of large part of structure so this is a part of structure slab it may require when the where we provide mat foundation or raft foundation okay a mat or raft foundation is required when the allowable soil pressure is low or the if the bearing capacity of soil is low okay or the pressure of the soil is low or where is column and walls are so closely or close that individual footing would overlap or nearly touch each other then there we have to provide raft foundation if strip or individual footing touch with each other and there we are not able to design strip or individual footing so there you must be provide raft foundation and raft foundation is very good foundation for building construction that's why if there is uh, less bearing capacity of soil okay and if the pressure of the soil is low so there we must be provide raft foundation okay let me focus the camera okay so these are some important of uh shallow foundation types of shallow foundation and their uses right you can see here so it's a short video to discuss about raft foundation and their types and their uses so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye